She was one of Hollywood's most beloved girl next door types of the 1950s and 60s. Known in the entertainment industry as a triple threat for her ability to sing, dance, and act, she became a screen star of legendary proportions. With over three dozen films to her credit, she remains a cinematic icon of the ever sweet and ever wholesome American girl. She's the one and only Debbie Reynolds. Debbie was born Mary Frances Reynolds on April 1st, 1932 in El Paso, Texas. After moving to California, she was crowned Miss Burbank Beauty of 1948 and soon found herself working in films. She started as a bit player at Warner Brothers and by 1950, Reynolds was hired on at MGM where she was prominently featured in musicals and light comedies like Three Little Words released that same year. I want to be loved by you but I'm beat up, beat up, beat up boop, boop, ba -doo. Maybe I'll live a life of regret and maybe I'll give much more than I can but nevertheless I'm in love What I'd give for that wonderful phrase Reynolds' move to MGM was invaluable to her career, as she became increasingly popular for her trademarked innocence, charm, and exuberance. She played the love-struck daughter on vacation with her parents in Two Weeks with Love, also released in 1950. This light-hearted musical comedy proved to be another big hit for Debbie. <laughs> Monkey taught me his chimp. I love you too. Then the big baboon one night in June, he married them and very soon they were the fun and rabbit of a honey. Then he'd drop off his horse, take a few more cars, and then he'd roll, roll, roll. In 1952, Debbie Reynolds shot to prominence with her co-starring role in what is often called the greatest movie musical of all time, Singing in the Rain, with Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor. Happy again, we'll walk down the lane with a happy refrain and singing, just singing in the rain. Well, Mr. Simpson, we're really rolling. Yeah, well, you can stop rolling at once. Huh? Don, Lena. All right, everybody, save it. Save it? Tell them to go home. We're shutting down for a few weeks. What? Well, don't just stand there. Tell them. Everybody go home until further notice. What is this? Yeah, what's the matter, R.F.? The jazz singer. That's what's the matter, the jazz singer. Oh, my darling little mammy. Now, little mammy. Now, your little baby. No, no, this is no joke, Cosmo. It's a sensation. The public is screaming for more. More what? Talking pictures. Talking pictures. Oh, it's just a freak. Yeah, what a freak. We should have such a freak at this studio. I told you talking pictures were a menace, but no one would listen to me. Don, we're going to put our best feet forward. We're going to make the dueling cavalier into a talking picture. <laughs> Beautiful girl, you're a lovely picture. You were meant for me. All I do is dream of you the whole night through. Ready for love, I can jump over the moon of above. There's a fiddle and ready for love. Um, 
singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Make them laugh, make them laugh, make them laugh. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. following year, 1953, Debbie teamed up with Donald O'Connor again for another MGM musical. This was a light-hearted romantic comedy called I Love Melvin. I know what he'll look like. He will be so storybook-like. He won't cry like and won't lie like other girls I knew. Much to my regret, my heart is just an apple cart that's waiting to be upset, for we have never met you. Did you get your brakes behind? Lady driver, now, now look, you know how I feel, I, I, I do anything for you. I'd rob a bank, I, I'd take a rocket to the moon, anything, just ask me. Put me on the cover. My picture on the cover of the magazine. Oh, joy. Now there is an earth-shaking notion, a girl on the cover of a magazine. They'll go mad, I tell you, mad. Yeah, but, th but this girl's different. What's she got, three eyes? Now, let's start at the beginning. What's with the beginning? All I want to know now, is when the please, cover's please. coming. Let me handle this. Miss Judy Leroy is the girl on that cover. He knows that. She's a football on Broadway. Right! Learn to dance. A lady loves expensive clothes and pretty jewels and furs and French chapeaux. She loves her lingerie in black. It suits her zodiac. Loves a penthouse where she'll be content to stay. Finds little gifts on her breakfast tray. But now and then pack and sail away. I want to wander here and yonder I love the feel of pebbles in my shoes I'm restlessly inclined Judy, I... Oh, I'm sorry, did I, did I hurt you? You always leap at me. You don't have to leap at me. Look. What is it, a time exposure?
Debbie Reynolds proved her star power again and again for MGM throughout the 1950s. She was always a box office draw, especially when it came to movie musicals like Athena, released in 1954. Millions of moviegoers who threw kisses at seven brides will fall in love with the seven sisters in Athena. May I kiss you? Jane Powell woos Edmund Purdom. May I kiss you now? And Debbie Reynolds wows Vic Damone. And for added enjoyment, there is Louis Calhoun, lovely Linda Christian, and the marvelous muscle men in the Mr. Universe contest, assembled especially for this great picture. It's a happy musical comedy with an original, different story about seven would-be brides and how they wooed. You didn't think I was so strange when you first met me, did you? No, you seemed very normal and, and I must say, a very attractive young lady. I know I must have shocked you. But the first time I saw you, Adam, I wanted to kiss you. so pleased about nothing it's just that it's amazing what you can do without muscle how your eyes right as a penny and your sleep i don't need any because i'm always on the ball and full of pep how's your heart it must be ticking because i feel alive and kicking how's your brain it looks insane but kind of quick love can change the stars whenever it's strong Heidelberg would thrill me. I'd buy a dress and chintz and go right out and land a student prince. Venezia, fairest of flowers, treasure the hours you spend with her. In 1955, Reynolds married another popular performer, singer Eddie Fisher. That same year, Debbie starred in another MGM musical. It was a remake of a 1930 comedy about zany sailors on shore leave. Debbie captivated audiences in a madcap musical titled Hit the Deck. As if we miss the bus Oh why, oh why, and wherefore Is there no one to care for Why, oh why, and wherefore Does no one seem to care for Why, oh why, and wherefore Does no one seem to care for the bayou and to 
that night I got the blues Because I'm longing for the bayou Where I used to dance with my shoes Oh! What happened, sir? Well, I was sitting here minding my own business. Matter of fact, I was holding an audition with three sailors. With a young lady. She and I were just... Uh, you can skip that. You're a big boy. And we're broad-minded. Now, who were the sailors? Uh, one of them was called Smith. Danny Smith. Straighten up, chum. This is it. At ease. What can I do for you? Well, Admiral, we well, were I looking guess we made for, a mistake. Uh, one at a time. Looking for what? Daniel S Smith, sir. I'm Daniel Smith. What do you want? We're supposed to put you under arrest, Admiral. Well, that's better. Got to shoot the Also in 1955, Debbie played a determined newlywed wife trying to tame her former swinger husband, played by Frank Sinatra, in the delightful musical sex romp, The Tender Trap. What are you doing tonight? Charlie. Mm -hmm. You're not talking, you're nibbling. You know more about how to please a lady than any other man on the eastern seaboard. How many other girls are there in your life? Congratulations, Mr. Rita. Understand you're engaged to a lovely girl. Two lovely girls. Yes, the tender trap is baited with a thousand laughs to add new spice to your life and leave you screaming with delight. Why don't you lay off me? All you married guys are alike. Just because you're hooked, you want everybody else to be hooked. You fell in love, and love is the test. By 1956, Debbie Reynolds and Eddie Fisher were America's favorite couple. So it was no surprise when they were teamed on screen in Fisher's starring debut, a remake of Bachelor Mother titled Bundle of Joy. In 1959, Fisher divorced Reynolds to marry a friend of the family, Elizabeth Taylor. This incident helped create a new wave of fan sympathy for Reynolds, helped bring her box office popularity to yet another peak, evident with the success of Say One For Me, starring Bing Crosby, released that same year. It's the story of Father Conroy, whose parish was all Broadway. He had the knack of making happiness happen in the strangest ways. For Holly, who had to make good in show business for a very special reason, and for Tony, who never really meant to fall in love. You made her fall in love with you, didn't you? Who are you to interfere with love? I don't interfere with love. Now look, I got big news for you. She's going away with me and nothing you can say or do can stop it. Father, you're not being fair. When Sonny was troubled, you helped her find a way. And that's all Tony wants. A way to get out of his environment. All he ever talks about is class. And that's what this job in Florida means to him. A chance to have class. If he had any class, he'd leave you alone. Maybe I can't leave him alone, Father. You still are gonna find a chance. 
Secret of Christmas is not the things you do, not, not the, the things, things you, you do at Christmas time, time but, but the Christmas, Christmas things you do. By the 1960s, Debbie Reynolds was still enjoying great box office popularity, both in musicals and comedies. In 1961, she starred as a widow become sheriff in a wacky western comedy titled The Second Time Around, co-starring Andy Griffith and Steve Forrest. The following year, 1962, Reynolds was featured along with an all-star cast in a blockbuster Cinerama epic about three generations of Western pioneers called How the West Was Won. Directed by John Ford, Henry Hathaway, and George Marshall, How the West Was Won remains a classic all-American film, often regarded as one of the best Westerns of all time. Starring John Wayne and Harry Morgan, David Bryan, Raymond Massey, Andy Devine, Thelma Ritter, Russ Samblin, Lee Van Cleef, and Walter Brennan. With Richard Whitmark, George Capard, Carolyn Jones, Eli Wallach, and Lee J. Cobb. Throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, and into the 90s, Debbie Reynolds continues as a vibrant Hollywood star. From her countless film and TV appearances, to her daily stage performances in her very own Las Vegas nightclub, Debbie Reynolds remains one cinematic superstar whom Hollywood will always remember.